it's been really lovely to chat to you, Billy Bob. Have a lovely day. Well, thank you. You too. And I have to say, you're the most comfortable journalist. Couldn't be more perfect. Oh, mate, what a sleazy. Oh, Billy Bob Thornton? Is he flirting with you? Sleazy. I don't think so. A bit sleazy. Is he... Well, he was married... No, was he married to Angela or is he Angelina's dad? No, he's, Angelina's no, he's, dad. he's Angelina's he older brother. <laughs> no. Who she, she, she passed? Was, no, no, she passed and was married to. But it's okay. an, an older brother So, thing. let me just clear a couple of things up. I don't think Billy Bob was flirting with me. Yes. And we they were married. And they were married. But yeah, he okay. is her older brother, though, right? No, uh, <laughs> Carlos. It's hard to follow the bouncing Do you know, Okay, this is all you need to know that season four of Goliath is streaming on Amazon it's, Prime Video now. It is terrific. Mm. He's a good actor. He's so good, isn't yeah, he? He's good, and he yeah. was flirting with you. Yeah, definitely. And he is a little bit cray-cray. <laughs> <laughs> are those two things linked, are they? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> Brooke Bodie on fire. <laughs> And of course, at some point today, we are expected to hit that 80% first dose target. That means there will be a modest easing of restrictions from midnight tonight. You could go boating or play tennis or even uh, some other sports as well. But the main thing, I think, for most people will be that travel limit is going to increase from 10 kilometres, Carl, to 15 kilometres. What other sports were you talking about, Is a <laughs> Well, I don't play it's golf, golf, tennis it's or golf, boating. It's so golf. Really it's golf. Sam me. Newman's keen as mustard. To be clear, I would have let that one through. I'm not. Play through. Play through. To the wicket keeper, that one. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good morning to you. I hope you are fighting fit this morning on what day is it? Tuesday. Kind of feels like a Wednesday. Does it, Mummy? Oh. It does. <laughs> it does. Anyway, nice to have your company this morning. I hope you're all well at home. Let's get to our top story. And there he is. I know. It's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. I don't. Yeah. She gets funny with burritos. Yes. Mm. Just have one of those moments when you sort of thought, what day is it? You know, they merge into this one. This is not an isolated incident. <laughs> I thought that was a very professional start. <laughs> it was good. It was... I figure the only way's up from here. That's yeah. Stress. All right. Nice to see you on the desk this morning, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually not there. <laughs> That's not Tim. I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Mm. You're the one who has to deal with it all morning. It's okay, I'm you all right? To, I'm anyway. looking fine. I'm, I'm all right. You're, you're <laughs> feeling sharp? That's good. Glad one of us is. The summer of cricket is fast approaching, so a brief reminder this morning to always wear protective equipment. <laughs> oh. Folks, that was not a replay. That happened twice oh, in the same game. There he goes. Oh. Bang. Oh. Just, just, Are they Band-Aids? <laughs> <laughs> You'll need more than Band-Aids, band Carl. Far out. Just the, oh, worse. no, so from poor old Alex Hales. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. game I just watch your body language, you two lads, when you <laughs> watch the cringe. changes. It's like, oh, it really hurts, it, that it, really well, hurts. I hope he's OK. And it hurts for a long time. It shoots up. There's a delayed pain. <laughs> there is. <laughs> It's worse than childhood. Sometimes the skin can... Oh. It's just like... Of course it is. You just don't want it to happen. Mm. Ever, ever, ever. It's funnier than childhood. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's definitely. Summer of cricket's fast approaching definitely. is the message from that. All right. There you go. Well, <laughs> well coming up on today, Queensland rocked by a mystery. COVID lockdown is making many Sydney siders a little bit stir-crazy. So, you can't blame them for thinking this mysterious flying object was in fact... A UFO. Definitely. Mm -hmm. 100%. Residents in Belmore to Bathurst in the New South Wales Central West took to social media last night in awe of what many thought was an alien encounter. But there is a logical explanation, I'm sorry to say. Oh. It turns out the mystery light is actually a Chinese rocket. What? Oh. Yeah, we're the long under march. We're, no, no, we're not under attack. I don't think. It's even so, worse. What was it doing there? What's it doing there? Is it spying on us? The Long March 3B rocket was launched yesterday, holding a navigation satellite. Oh, in preparation for the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. That makes mm. sense. Do we Does believe it, though? that? Well, that's what they're telling us. Mm. See, they're watching us even when we sleep. I know. Mind the you, Winter Olympics. Mind you, I've had the vaccine, so Xi Jinping can see everything inside my body. Oh, that's oh, right. Yeah. 5G. 5G, I yeah. can hear everything now. I can hear, actually miles hear. miles away. 
I thought it was Bill Gates. It's China, is it? I can't keep up. <laughs> it's definitely Gigi. <laughs> well, Biden got his booster shot the other day. Yeah, so Gigi's in there as well. There you go. <laughs> there you go. He's everywhere. It's all, it's all Mr. just a little bit disturbing. Mr. Ping really. is everywhere. <laughs> How many of you have used your partner's toothbrush but not told them? Oh, no, I wouldn't not do me. that. Wouldn't do that. Mm -mm. Oh, OK. No. Bon okay. Bon. That it Did happens the other way you... around whenever we go away. Just Pete use he never, He never packs his toothbrush. Why not? Because he's Pete. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, what were you going to say? All right. Did any either of you panic by at all during the pandemic? Yes, wine. <laughs> yeah, in the, fir the first lockdown, first day in, a couple of cases you know, at the front door. Yeah, I stopped. We're the worst at panic buying in the whole world. Us as a country, the worst panic buyers. Twenty four percent of Australians panic bought yeah. during the pandemic. Still can't believe all the dummy um, paper that was. All bought. right, have you ever lied to your partner about them looking good, even though they didn't? My partner always looks spectacular. Why would I? lie about that. It's true. And I'm perfectly straight up with Pete when I don't like an outfit that he's wearing. Yeah. He gets the really? honest truth. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's a pair of leather pants that I told Beck look OK, and now every time she wears them, I'm like, I should have just been honest <laughs> no. with her. Oh. <laughs> oh. I reckon Beck could pull off the leather pants just yeah. quietly. <laughs> it's the colour. It's this is weird brown. I mean, she can pull off the pants, but, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> anyway. Don't say pull off We'll let pants, her pull so off her pants. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, family show, Andy. Okay, we got one for you. We're turning the tables. Okay. Um, so, if Hamish couldn't host the podcast with you, who would you choose between Richard and Carl? Mm. Gee. Oh, well, judging by Carl's performance tonight, I'm going to go with Richard. <laughs> <laughs> very wise. Just stick with the 90%, Andy. Thank you very much indeed, mate. We'll be watching tonight. I mean, it's, it's certainly timing wise. Life's all about timing. Yeah. I had a kid right before COVID happened, so. I was able to kind of be a full-time dad for a couple of years. <laughs> it's not easy. I've got, I've got four. It's like, you know. You've got four? <laughs> yeah, that I know about. Four? What, what's that? I mean, I guess, that's, I guess that's one of each these days. <laughs> it is all four beautiful, beautiful kids. Four, four, four beautiful kids. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Great. I mean, beautiful. I'll give you three beautiful kids, but the chances of having four beautiful in a row seem minimal. Pick three favourites and we'll go with that. I'm and not, one's there for parts. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> In case something I mean, goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, you've got three beautiful kids and we've got the organ donor. Is this racist? Do Chinese people have guess who? <laughs> I tried that joke for the first time in a tiny little 50-seater theatre above a pub and there was a Chinese lady front and centre and she laughed enough that she sort of bent forward and it looked like I'd gone, no. <laughs> I mean, how on earth didn't you get cancelled? Haven't you been cancelled over the years with this stuff? It's so on the edge. Listen, I'm, I'm super relaxed about being cancelled because the joke that ends my career, it's already out there. I've already told it. Mm. It's on YouTube somewhere mm -hmm. and it's perfectly acceptable until one day it isn't. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. Let the cards fall where they may. I, I love playing live and uh, doing gigs around the country and it's, it's an honour and a privilege. And I, I realise that even in saying that, I sound... A bit middle class and insincere. I, it's such an important part of my life. I absolutely love it. So let me try and put that in a way that cuts through the showbiz bull. Thank you very much indeed for all the money. <laughs> he is a funny guy. You kind of have to hold on to that tightrope when you're talking to him. Yeah. It's right on the end. <laughs> uh, Jimmy's book before and laughter. A life-changing book is out now. Very, very clever and funny man. I enjoyed he didn't answer his question about the kids, which I actually thought was very wise of you. Well, when he went down the heart set, I was like, oh, my Yeah, goodness. there was a bit Gee, there where you <laughs> uncomfortable, wasn't it? I started sweating like I am now. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>